guys, today on Chris Does What, I'm here with Danielle and we're going to go over um, how to maintain your AC unit and you know going through changing filters and, and time frames to change filters, how we maintain uh, the, the drain on our AC and also the out, outside unit, how we maintain and keep that cooling our house properly. But the first thing we're going to do is we're going to change the air filters in the house. And so we have five of these little filters and one of these larger filters for all of our returns in our house that we get from Filter Easy. We like Filter Easy because it we can schedule it for every we <clears throat> sorry. Uh, we've been using them for since we moved into this house. And since we had so many filters to buy, oh my goodness, this house has a lot. Um, it was so expensive at the store. I mean, these were like 20 bucks a piece if you wanted anything that got any kind of that dander. Was, that was cheap ones, though. Yeah, so I really looked around and I found Filter Easy and I signed up with them and we've been using them. We order every three months all our, or, all our uh, filters. All our filters and these ones take out pollen, dust, mold, dust mites, bacteria, and pet dander. Pet dander. We have a pet, <laughs> so we want to get rid of that allergens because it's problematic. So, so I wanted to tell you how much we pay per one of these for all of that benefits that you get, like you would at the store, like from Filtrate or something. Uh, $12. Filter Each easy. It doesn't $12. matter what size it is. Twelve dollars a filter for these the the, the best ones they have, and, and we do it, it every three down. months. There's two other ones. Um, we've used the mid grade one for a long time, but we're gonna we're gonna up it to the pet dander one just because our dog's kind of hairy, and so we want to see how that benefits. But the other ones did great about keeping down the hair as well. Okay, so let's uh, let's let's go into maintenance. We're gonna take out. This filter right here, and we'll contrast the difference in clean versus dirty, and then we'll go maintain the rest of the system. Okay, guys, this is really dirty, so uh, we're going to have to up the amount of orders we do. Um, so we're going. Well, this was this was three and a half months, and there was actually something that happened recently with our AC unit that I. Um, was thinking that it was getting more dirt inside the house because of, uh, I don't remember what was going on back there. But anyways, anyways, I knew that it was putting more dirt through here because there was a lot more dirt in the house. And I was like, where is it coming from? So we upgraded to the pet dander and the bacteria, but I don't think that means dirt. This was white. It was? Yeah, it was oh, white. Oh, wow. So... But looking at this, we may have to, uh, like she said, up our or orders. We're going to, we'll probably check uh, in about a month or so and see how this looks and see when we're going to have to do our next order from uh, Filter Easy. Link down below if you're interested. But let's go ahead and install this. When you're installing a filter, you want to make sure that you put the arrows up. So that's your airflow. If you're doing it, if your filter's on your unit, it's very easy. Just slide it in if it's on the bottom with the arrows up. Um, my returns, of course, I want the arrows pointing away from me on the ceiling. This is terrible. See, the, um, we had it on an every three month schedule and uh, for some reason, I think the summer has really been a lot more dirtier and dustier around here. And so maybe in the summer we can up it to like every two months or something like that. And then I think during the year it, it could be every three to four months. Okay, so I'm, I'm, of course, I'm not showing you how to put these filters in. But we're going to go outside and we're going to start maintaining the outside components of this AC. I have a teenager and he's going to put the rest of the smaller filters in, in all our rooms. Before we step outside, this is what the air filter looked like when we put it in. About like that. This is what it looks now. So, you know, you want to monitor your filters 
and make sure you're doing it right. Looks like I wasn't. So I have to up my order. Okay guys, so we're on the outside unit and um, we've got a T cut in here that goes down to the, the ground and then the water drains through and down out to the outside of the house. But this pipe is made out of the same size and it just goes in with a cap over it. This allows us to blow out the unit. So I can take and I'll put a piece of cardboard so I don't blow back through into this unit, back into the AC. I want to blow the air through the pipe, of course. And then I just pump it out. And you see it come out the other side. If you don't have an air compressor, you'll want to, uh, you can probably use a shop vac and just suck on the other side. I've done that before. It will suck a lot of crud out. Once you get done blowing through your system, you want to stick something like vinegar or something that's not going to destroy the environment because you just don't want, it's going to the ground outside. You don't want to use something too caustic. So let's go outside and see how we maintain our um, evaporator. Is it the evaporator? The outside the, unit. The AC big, big thing out there? The big AC unit outside. <laughs> so let's go out there. Okay guys, so the last step we do in maintaining our AC unit is we spray down the unit. So Gabby is going to take and start from the top and spray down to the bottom. So you're going to turn the pressure all the way up and spray it down. Ooh, that's cold. And I, I do this, uh, you know, every three months, so it's pretty clean. But you want to make sure you get in all the cracks, washing all that gunk you uh, put up in there with your weed eater. You're not going to hurt the unit. It, it's rained on every day. You're not going to hurt the unit. This is just going to make these fins clean so it's more efficient. So it cools the Freon coming through here more uh, quickly and makes your whole unit more efficient. So if you like these tips and uh, this was helpful, leave feedback, comments below. If you like this channel, please subscribe. If you like this video, hit that like button. It's right down there. Looks like this. And if you are looking for filters that you can order and set a schedule so you know when to maintain your unit, check out Filter Easy. We love them and uh, the prices are very, uh, very great compared to going to a Walmart or something and buying their filters. We'll have that link below. Yes, yeah. we will. So y'all please take care.